Uh, too many opportunities let let uh, go early. Uh, we had some uh, protection issues that we were missing. Uh, Demo's got to see a couple things that uh, allows him to make the right check. Uh, you know, we made some adjustments at halftime in terms of the protection issues that uh, we felt would help us. We made a mistake up front, the one on the intercept, when the one that got batted for an interception. We should have squeezed, in which he did exactly what we wanted to. We had a hot adjustment throw to the right, and we had the coverage if they were going to play coverage. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. We slid out. We shouldn't have. That was a mistake up front that, uh, you know, that we addressed and just made a mistake. Um, what I saw tonight was a team that played extremely hard. Um, they're playing with some fire. And the first thing Doc said to me that when we got across the 50-yard line, he said, you got these kids playing so hard. I said, Doc, we're play they're playing for each other. They ain't playing for me. They're playing for each other. And that I am proud of our players and our team right now. That's a good football team over there, man. Those are the ones, I mean, they're averaging, what, 40, 50 points a game. And with our defense, I am so proud of our defense. Our defense stood up and really made plays. They really exerted themselves. And we talked about it all week. You know, you're going to have to step up and help us. And we'll get rolling on offense. It's a terrible tragedy that happened last night. I'm not saying that had anything to do with his performance. But there's some things that we can definitely get better at. You got to make sure I keep getting Jeffrey Wilson the ball a little bit a little earlier so I can get him in a rhythm, which will probably settle DeMarcus down again. I was trying to get DeMarcus in a rhythm, and, and it kind of got us out of rhythm. And I got to make sure that we get him in rhythm by making sure Jeffrey touches the ball. Tough place to try to come break up losing streak like this. This is awfully hard. This They're 16 hard. and 1 at home. This, this was hard. And I knew it would be hard. But, you know, and then no excuses. We get here last night at midnight, and nobody said a word about it. We didn't talk about it today. We said, hey, we're going to line up, we're going to go play. And that's what we did. We didn't allow that to be or have it be a reason why we didn't come out and play well or whatnot or lost the game. This is a good football team. This is a tough place to come win. And our kids, our players fought hard, and that I'm very proud of. And I can go back and say, we won the second half. That I can, I can build off of. That I can build off. And think of the things that we left on in the first half points that we could have led to points if we make the right read and make the right decision, Mike might throw, make a catch, you know, those little things that, that add up and maybe we're in the game going into the fourth quarters, which we were hoping to do. Really struggled offensively mm -hmm. tonight. Is there something that you guys can do or problems that you're having? Well it's it's gonna it's gonna come. It's gonna come with with more experience, more reps with uh, DeMarcus. You know he's he's got so much ability he's just gotta understand they didn't have to make the great play every play, he's just gotta make the right play and make the right decision. And so um, that'll come with, with time. And so if once he gets that, he'll be better and better for it, obviously. This, this is an experience that we're going to go through with him the next couple of games. And, and we knew what would happen. It's just we have to live with the good and we'll have to live with the bad and high risk, high reward. But he, he'll continue to get better. Was it tough to you know, have that happen where you don't even roll in your hands on midnight last night? Oh, sure, it's tough, but it's not an excuse. You can, you can only control things you can control. And we couldn't control what happened yesterday. Our kids were pretty resolved about it. They're, there was no issue. There was no panic mode. Nobody was stressing out. I told everybody just relax, get some food, relax, and when it's time to go, we'll go. And then sleep on the plane, and when we get there, we'll eat, and we'll get up tomorrow morning, and we'll play. And that's what we did today. Coach, anything else? No, I, I'm looking forward to get, getting on the film and awesome. line up tomorrow and getting our kids in the weight room and then obviously hitting it tomorrow night with practice and then hitting it Tuesday when we get back on the field getting ready for us. So I'm excited about playing UTSA. We're 0-2 against them right now. And uh, Coach Canales has gave both – uh, you know, academic, uh, not academic. Um, uh, oh, I can't think of the word is right now. I gave the kind of the motivational speech mm -hmm. the last two times, and, and we have been owing too. So this one means a lot to me. This one means a lot to me.